Hierakonpolis redirects here, for the ancient fortress in Egypt, called Hierakon. See Hierakon Neken, Enken, or Hierakonpolis was the religious and political capital of Upper Egypt at the end of the pre-dynastic period, and probably also during the early dynastic period. Some authors suggest occupation dates that should begin thousands of years earlier. Horus Cult Center Neken was the center of the cult of a hawk deity Horus of Neken, which raised in this city one of the most ancient temples in Egypt, and it retained its importance as the cult center of this divine patron of the kings long after it had otherwise declined. The original settlement on the Neken site dates from the culture known as Nakada the first of 4400 BC or the late Badarian culture that may date from 5000. BC. At its height from about 3400 BC, Neken had at least 5,000 and possibly as many as 10,000 inhabitants. The ruins of the city originally were excavated toward the end of the 19th century by the English archaeologists James E. Quibble and F. W. Green. Quibble and Green discovered the main deposit, a foundation deposit beneath the temple, in 1894. Quibble was originally trained under W.M.F. Petrie, the inventor of modern archaeology. However, he failed to follow Petrie's methods, and the temple was a difficult site to excavate to begin with, thus his excavation was poorly conducted and purely documented. Specifically, the situational context of the items therein is poorly recorded and often the reports of Quibble and Green are in contradiction. The most famous artifact commonly associated with the main deposit, the Nama Pallet, is now thought to have probably not been in the main deposit at all. Quibble's report made in 1900 put the pallet in the deposit, but Green's report in 1902 put it about one to two yards away. Green's version is substantiated by earlier field notes, so it is now the accepted record of events. The main deposit was located in an early Old Kingdom period, but the artistic style of the objects in the deposit indicate that they were from proto-dynastic times and were moved into the deposit at a later date. The other important item in the deposit clearly dates to late pre-dynastic times. This object, the scorpion maze head, depicts a king known only by the ideogram for scorpion, thus known as King Scorpion, participating in what seems to be a ritual irrigation ceremony. Although the Nama palette is more famous because it shows the first king to wear both the crowns of Upper and Lower Egypt, the scorpion maze head also indicates some early military hostility with the north by showing dead lapwing birds, the symbol of the north, hung from standards. More recently, the concession was excavated further by a multinational team of archaeologists, Egyptologists, geologists, and members of other sciences, which was coordinated by Michael Hoffman until his death in 1990 then by Barbara Adams of University College London and Dr. Rene Friedman representing the University of California, Berkeley and the British Museum until Barbara Adams's death in 2001, and by Rene Friedman thereafter. Fort, the structure at Neckin with the misnomer Fort, is a massive mud brick enclosure, built by King Kar Second Way of the Second Dynasty. It appears to be similar in structure and purpose as the forts constructed at Abydos, and has no apparent military function. The true function of these structures is unknown, but they seem to be related to the rituals of kingship and the culture. The ritual structure was built on a pre-dynastic cemetery for two years, during 2005 and 2006. The team led by René Friedman was attempting to stabilize the existing structure and support the endangered areas of the structure with new mud bricks, an oldest known Egyptian painted tomb. Other discoveries at Neken include the Tomb 100, the oldest tomb with painted decoration on its plaster walls. The tomb is thought to date to the Nakada the Second C period from 3500 BC until 3200 BC. The decoration shows presumed religious scenes and images that include figures that will appear in Egyptian culture for 3000 years, a funerary cortege of barks, 
possibly a goddess standing between two upright lionesses, a wheel of various horned quadrupeds. Several examples of a staff that became associated with the deity of the earliest cattle culture and one being held up by a heavy-breasted goddess, asses or zebras, ibex, ostriches, lionesses, impala, gazelles, and cattle. A oldest known zoo. The oldest known zoological collection was revealed during excavations at Necken in 2009 of a menagerie that dates to California, 3500 BC. The exotic animals included hippos, hartebeest, elephants, baboons and wildcats. Later activity. There are some later tombs at Necken, dating to the Middle Kingdom, Second Intermediate Period and New Kingdom. In the tomb of Horm K was found a biographical inscription reporting Horm Kief's journey to the capital of Egypt, because it had a strong association with Egyptians' religious ideas about kingship. The Temple of Horus at Necken was used as late as Ptolemaic times. Bibliography Barbara G. Adams Ancient Hierarch on Palais Warminster 1974, in Bibliotheca Orientalis 33, 1976, ISSN 0006-1913, pp. 24-25, Barbara Adams, The Fort Cemetery at Hierarch on Palais. KPR, London 1987, ISBN 0-7103-0275-4. Guy Brunton, The Pre-Dynastic Town Site at Hierarch Compilies, in, S.R. K. Glanville, Studies Presented to F. Ull, Griffith, Oxford University Press, London U. A. 1932, pp. 272-276. John Coleman Darnell, Hathor Returns to Medamood, in, Studying Zer Alt Egyptian Culture 22, 1995, ISSN 0340-2215, pp. 47-94. Walter A. Fair Service, Excavations of the Temple Area on the KML Gem Uia. Vassar College, Poughkeepsie, NY 1983, René Friedman, Barbara Adams, The Followers of Horus, Studies Dedicated to Michael Allen Hoffman, 1944-1990, Oxbow Books, Oxford U, A, 1992, ISBN 0-9468974411. John Garstang, Excavations at Hyrak Compolis, at ESNA and in Nubia, in, ASAE, An Aldu Service des Antiques de la Egyptiate, 1907, ISSN 1687-1510, pp. 132-148, Michael Allen Hoffman, Egypt Before the Pharaohs, the Prehistoric Foundations of Egyptian Civilization. Rutledge and Keegan Paul, London U. A. ISBN 0 7100 8 Michael Allen Hoffman, The Pre-Dynastic of Hierarch Compilies, An Interim Report, Cairo University Herbarium, Faculty of Science U. A. Giza U. A. 1982, J.E. Quibble, Plates of Discoveries in 1898, with notes by W. M. F. P. Bernard Quaridge, London 1900, J. E. Quibble, F. W. Green, Plates of Discoveries, 1898-99, with description of the site in detail. Bernard Quaritch, London 1902, A.J. Spencer, Early Egypt, The Rise of Civilization in the Nile Valley. Press, London 1993, ISBN 0-7141-0974-6, Toby A. H. Wilkinson, Early Dynastic Egypt, Rutledge, New York, New York 1999, ISBN 0-415-18633-1.